Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, you guys to the channel, it's your big guy back with another one take review. Today, I got one for season two, episode six of uh, C, which I thought was great. Just this this entire season has been phenomenal, and it's been doing so much stuff, and like the build up, the storylines with so many different characters. I think have just been like completely on point, and the show hasn't missed for me yet. And and that basically continues with this episode, in which we have the meeting between the Pyans and the uh, Trevantians, pretty much like broker peace between the two. Uh, the, the two. Uh, I want to say the the two cut the two cut countries. Tribes? I, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to call them, but I'm, just, I'm gonna say tribes, I guess. I'm gonna say tribes. But nonetheless, it's just like Margaret's getting, getting no wishes. Like she's like, hey, if we can get through this and I like, find some kind of peace and, 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 and solitude and, and you know, peace and so it's just peace and solemn or solitude. I don't know. It's not solitude. It's peace and solemn. Oh, I could be wrong, still. Nonetheless, it is what it is. I've said what I've said, and if I'm wrong, it's just gonna it, it, it sticks. So yeah, um. And that's that's the whole goal of this. It's like to to, to like broke breeze. But little do they know, um, Ito is sending Ren to basically make sure that peace does not happen. And he says he basically tells her like, "Yo, if our people start to sway, I need you to rile things back up. And if all else fails, I'm gonna give you a piece of bread if you get hungry." And I'm looking at the. I'm like, I think she was nervous when she got the bread. I wasn't thinking anything about it. And when she opened it up, I'm like, oh, it's actually bread. He didn't give her anything crazy. Oh, no, there is a knife in there. <laughs> like, I wasn't paying attention well at all. I was like, okay. But I knew she wasn't going to use it. And I knew her and uh, Honeywell was going to come back and, and like to contact with each other, which I was I, exci I was excited to see. Oh, my bad. I thought I heard somebody knocking at the door. Um, so that, that whole reunion was great. But the biggest thing, biggest storylines, once again, like I said, is like the 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 the, the meeting which goes to shit because Harlan uh, punches one of the uh, one of the, I guess one of the, I forgot what they call it, the council war council meet uh, members because she mentioned sending his brother's head back. If Harlan wouldn't have punched her, I I, I like listen. Harlan is cool. And I, I'm just not not, not by, by no means one of my favorite characters, but I can't I can't get mad at him for that. Like, like she literally bragged about sending my dead little brother's head back to me. The only reason she didn't get stabbed is because he didn't have a sword. And granted, he knew like y'all she was trying to rile him up, and eventually they have the meeting at night. Well, like they actually the the the, the real brokering for peace I like, come to happen and and Margaret basically tells him like hey I'm gonna overtake the queen eventually and like I'm gonna renounce this apology we're just trying to get through everything peacefully but even then things are still even after they actually come to an agreement things are still kind of shaky because at the end of that meeting it's like hey that stuff about sighted people we're not going for that just make sure uh your queen knows that Margaret's like she doesn't say anything, but she's like, okay, yeah, this is, uh, that, that's a bad, that's a bad situation for her because her kids are sighted. But little do they know that they have sighted people on their side as well, the uh, Tarantians. So it's, it's, it's kind of, it's it, everybody's, considering people can't actually see, <laughs> you see how much like people get manipulated and don't really know what's going on. All right. And, but, like, this is where things hit the fan. Everything settled between them. And then later on that night, booyah, some pion soldiers come through and, like, murder the 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 uh, the council for the Trevantians. Now, this scene was so good just because of how, how they moved. I think that was probably the best part about it was, like, how they moved. Because... Them versus Baba. And it's like they're so everything they did was silent. Like th these are like these are professionals. <laughs> these are just like full blown professionals. But like Baba's so Baba been in the trenches, so he knows and he, he knew something was off. Uh, he just got great intuition, you know. He managed to take out one, but the other one still got to the other two. While this was going on, 
Ren was occupied with Hanawa. So in her mind, wow, they just killed these other two. They setting us up. Ren, I mean, Hanawa knew I had feelings for her. So she led me away because I'm the only person who would have saw this coming. So now things are even more complicated on both sides because now Ren goes back and basically this scene is a very simple scene but to me it landed so much and I'm talking about the scene where Ido asks her how did you survive and the other and how were you the only one to survive and she pushed together the puzzle or the, the, the puzzle and tell, tells him that she cited I thought that was just just absolutely terrific like it's like you, like you saw him just looking like, wait a minute. I always thought he had a suspicion of her, though. Uh, I guess that was just like in my head. You know, I, 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 me just want him to be just completely awesome and know everything. But like, yeah, I thought I thought he had like a feeling or something that like she was, you know, excited or had something going on with Hanawa. But no, like he actually was like clueless about it, which is cool. It's the fact that like now she's trusting him with the fact that she's excited. So I think that's going to like... One that, that kind of opens things up for their relationship. And I think she's not going to tell him that she betrayed him. But mm, I just think I, I, I think she's going to try to do the best to like get on his good side, especially after like well, when I, when I say betraying him, I'm not talking about the fact that high she was like. Uh, Sider, I think he'll be able to understand that. I'm talking about when she killed the soldiers and, and helped Bob and them escape. I, that's the part I'm talking about. I don't think she ever like truly tell him that because I know, like we've seen Ito, like Ito, Ito is not the most forgiving person. But um, that's that's all that stuff is great. What's going on there? Then we go back to like the to the Pine Kingdom. Uh, <laughs> Kofun, uh, Kofun has sex with the, with the, with the queen, which is his aunt. So it, I mean, it is what it is. She's manipulating the hell out of him. He's never uh, had sex before, so you know what I'm saying. His first piece of, you know what I'm saying, poo nanny, and and now she got him what she wants him. Like he can see, like he can still, like unlike most of the other people, like who just only depend on touch, he can see her body. He can see her naked. He can, you know what I'm saying? All these different things going to his mind. He's still young. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, that's his first piece of, you know, so, and she's telling him all, she's telling me sweet nothings in his ear and telling him I'm not going to lie to you. Not knowing, he not, he not knowing that she only wants a sight of child. He doesn't know anything like that. And like she feel, he feels like she's being vulnerable with him. To a degree, she's showing what she needs to show. Which and and like I've said multiple times, Queen, as much as I hate her, she is so many steps ahead of everybody else. That's just simply what it is. And, and she shows it again this episode when she uh, uh the, sends the uh the uh. Oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> she gets caught up. Uh, sin. Hold up. Shoot. Oh, I hate that these are one take now. The queen gets caught up. Oh, what well, she sends the assassins. Okay, yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I was going at. Like she sent the assassins. Like she knew what she was doing. She's like, I don't really want no peace. Uh, but my whole thing is like, what? What? Why is she? What is she trying to do though? Like, what exactly is she trying to accomplish though? She knows if they go to war, they lose. Maybe she don't want the truth to get out about what happened. Like, you know, she gonna take it, take a lie to the grave, or maybe she can see something with Kofun later on that can like help her. I, I don't know exactly what it is, what the queen mission is. Like, the queen is a a, a very unique individual, <laughs> but she has Kofun wrapped around her finger now, which is which is dangerous for everybody else because I think. A lot of the people are what Kofu's family truly believes in him. And he does, I don't think he reciprocates those uh, feelings, especially after, you know, they're being lied to by his mother. So I think uh, Paris saw betrayal, but she didn't know exactly where it was coming from. 
I still think betrayal is coming in the form of Kofu. But, hey, that's just my prediction for now. You guys, let me know what y'all thought about it down in the comments. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.